Hey guys, what's up? This is Gerald Croft and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be looking at a time lapse for the server spawn contest entry on Planet Minecraft, just for those of you who wanted to watch it. Now, if you did watch my last video, it was a cinematic on the final outcome of this project, and you can watch that video by clicking on the link in the description. Now, I am going to be taking this time to pretty much answer a couple of questions and also talk about future videos. So this would be my entry into the Planet Minecraft spawn contest. Now I don't really expect to win because there's been about 520 entries. I mean I was aiming for hopefully top 10, but we just have to wait and see. I think the top 100 will be announced in about 2 days, so hopefully it won't turn out too bad. Now just to answer a couple of questions, this build took me about 30 hours. Now the story goes I went onto Planet Minecraft, found out about the contest and began work on this project. Now about 50% into the project. I found out I only had 24 hours to pretty much finish it and hand it in. So it was a complete rush. I only slept about 4 hours on that day, but thankfully I managed to finish it on time and hand it in pretty much last second. Now someone sent me a message asking me how I managed to make the floating island look so realistic. Now to be honest, I didn't build this by hand. I actually went onto World Painter, made some mountains using some custom brushes, then exported it into Minecraft, used single player commands, to copy paste the mountains, flip them, schematic save them and then paste them into this world which was an air preset. Now I can do a tutorial video on how to do all this if you so wish. I pretty much think I am going to do this tutorial video because you know it works really well and the floating islands looks quite decent. So one question I do get a lot is basically what inspires you and what makes you build in this way and it's a really tough question because overall it comes with experience. I've played a lot of fantasy style games in the past and not just fantasy but stuff like Age of Empires, World of Warcraft, I don't know, it just kind of helps out a lot to know what things are going to look like and it's just basically where I get my ideas from. Now as for inspiration, what inspires me the most is music because music is a huge help. If I'm trying to build something epic, I'm listening to some epic style music. And a good example is the desert city of al -Khazara. While I was building that city, I was listening to some desert style epic music. It was a huge inspiration to help me finish the city as soon as possible. So anyway guys, now I ask you a question. What do you think would be a good idea for me to build next, similar to the desert city of al -Khazara? You know, do you want to see an oriental style village? Do you want to see uh, huge jungle trees with tree houses? Just give me a couple of ideas and I'll consider it. I know someone did say build an Assassin's Creed type city, so I might go ahead and do that. It's not going to be anytime soon because, you know, I built the city in five days and I built the spawn in two days. It's been extremely exhausting. But um, definitely worth it. I mean, the desert city of al -Khazara was on the front page of Planet Minecraft. It was extremely popular and it was just so much fun. And I just want to thank you for all the amazing feedback that you guys gave me. So anyway guys, this time lapse is going to be cut short because I had to stop recording to just finish off the project and hand it into Planet Minecraft. So just to let you know of what to expect in the next upcoming uploads, it's going to be some desert style house tutorials, it's going to be some world painter tutorials, and hopefully some kingdoms of Grameen somewhere in the middle. So definitely stay tuned, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, this is Jerocraft, over and out.